Quadrilateral in which exactly one diagonal is the perpendicular bisector of the other diagonal. It has also two pairs of consecutive congruent sides, but opposite sides are not congruent. Theorem Sankite There are two theorems under Theorem Sankite. Before we discuss on the two theorems related to kites, we will first discuss the activity 16, cute kite. Here we have the kite cute where segment UC is congruent to segment UT, and segment CE is congruent to segment DE. Consider diagonal segment CT and segment UE that meet at X. So now that we know the diagonals and what segment are congruent, we are going to measure the indicated segments and record our findings in the table below. So as you can see on the illustration shown, all four angles are right angles, and right angles me is measured as 90 degrees. So, angle CXU is measured as 90 degrees, angle UXD is measured as 90 degrees, angle EXD is measured as 90 degrees, and both angle CXE is measured as 90 degrees. So, here are some following questions about the activity. Do the diagonals have the same length? No. One diagonal is longer than the other one. Which diagonal bisects the other one? It is the longer diagonal that bisects the shorter one. Theorem 10. In a kite, the perpendicular bisector of at least diagonal is the other diagonal. Show me the given. Kite word with diagonal segment WR and segment OD. Proof. Segment WR is the perpendicular bisector of segment OD. Proof. Have a two boxes here. Statement and reason. Number one, given. The statement of the given is a kite word with diagonal segment WR and segment OD. Number two, segment WO congruent to segment WD and segment OR congruent to segment DR. The reason of this is definition of kite. Number three, WO equal the WO and OR equal DR. The reason of this is definition of congruent segment. Number four, if a line contains two points each of which is equidistant from the end point of a segment, then the line is the perpendicular bisector of the segment. The statement of this is segment WR perpendicular to segment OD. Theorem 11. The area of a kite is half the product of the length of its diagonal. The given here is kite rope. The proof is area of kite rope is equal to 1 half OE multiplied by PR. And this is the proof. Reason number 1 is given. So what we will write in the statement is kite rope. Reason number 2 is the diagonals of a kite are perpendicular to each other. The statement here is segment PR is perpendicular to segment OE. Statement number 3 is area of kite rope is equal to area of triangle OPE plus area of triangle ORE. The reason is area addition postulate. Statement number 4 is area of triangle OPE is equal to 1 half OE multiplied by PW. And area of triangle ORE is equal to 1 half OE multiplied by WR. And the reason is area of formula for triangles. Statement number 5 is area of kite rope is equal to 1 half OE multiplied by PW plus 1 half OE multiplied by WR. The reason is substitution. Statement number 6. Area of kite rope is equal to 1 half OE multiplied by PW plus WR. Reason is distributive property of equality. Statement number 7. 
PW plus WR is equal to PR. Reason is SAP or segment addition postulate. And the last is statement number 8. Area of kite rope is equal to 1 half OE multiplied by PR. The reason is substitution. Number 1. What is the area of the kite plane? To find the area of the kite plane, we first identify the diagonals of the kite which are P, A, and L, Y. Then we use formula for the area of a kite which is half of the product of its diagonals. So for the given kite plane, the diagonals P, A equals 12 cm and L, Y equals 6 cm. We apply the formula. Area equals 1 half times diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. Substitute the given values, we get area equals 1 half times 12 cm times 6 cm equals 36 centimeters squared. This calculation yields of the area of the kite play as 36 square centimeters. Number 2. What theorem justifies your answer? The theorem that justifies the calculation of the area of the kite plane is the diagonal is the diagonal theorem of for kites. According to this theorem, the, the area of kite is equal to half product of its diagonals. This theorem provides the mathematical justification for why the formula one half times diagonal one times diagonal two works for calculating the area of a kite. Therefore, the use of this theorem validates the calculation method and confirms that the area ob obtained using the formula is accurate. Question number three. How did you solve for its area? To solve the area of the kite play, I follow these steps. One, identify the diagonals of the kite, which P, A, and L, Y. 2. Apply the formula for the area of a kite, which is half of the product of its diagonals. 3. Substitute the given values into formula. Area equals 1 half times diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. 4. Perform the multiplication and division to, the pi to find the area. By following these steps and applying the formula, I found the area of the kite play is 36 square centimeters. Activity 17, number 2. Given PA equals 12 cm, LY equals 6 cm. Question, how long is PA? A equals 35 cm squared, LY equals diagonal 2 equals 9 cm. PA equals diagonal 1, question mark. By applying theorem 2, we can solve for PA. It is area equals 1 half PA multiplied by BD. 135 cm squared equals 1 half. 9 cm multiplied by PA. 135 cm squared multiplied by 4 by 5 cm multiplied by PA 135 cm squared divided by 4.5 cm equals 4.5 cm PA 4.5 cm we can cancel 4.5 cm and 4.5 cm so that leaves PA we divide it by 135 cm squared 4.5 cm so the answer is 30 cm equals pa